Good morning, America. Steve Eisen here. It's March 16th, Friday, here in the beautiful state of South Carolina. It's filing day. Canada filing starts today, the 16th, at 12 noon, and it ends at noon on the 30th of March. And we have a number of candidates with us, and uh, Clay Burkett Clay is good to with us. Thank you, Steve. Clay's running for quarter here in Lexington County, and this is his first time to run for any public office. So um, we're, we're looking forward to his presentation today, and I'm sure there's some interesting questions. And uh, so, again, if you're passing through South Carolina on any Friday morning, 7 o'clock, please join us here at the Casey Mafia in the center part of the state here at Shawnee's, next to the airport. Until next week, Steve Isom signing off. Just be fun. Thank you. See you, America. It's, it's, again, you can see it's always entertaining because you never know what's going to happen with questions, and it's, it's this very dynamic, fluid situation. Well, next we have Clay Burkett. Clay was an uh, ex patrolman, right? He was a highway patrol. State tell you transport police. State transport police. Okay. We're going to tell you about that. Come on up. You know, <laughs> I thought you said sit back down. Now, come on up. Uh, this, this is Clay's first time here, folks. So uh, let's give him a, a, a warm welcome and thank you for coming on. Thank you. Yeah, I, was, I follow orders well. I thought he said sit back down, and I was sitting back down. But, uh, my name is Clay Burkett. I'm from Leesville. Uh, born and raised in Leesville. Uh, my parents, and well, it goes back a long ways to the 1700s. My family's lived in Lexington County, mostly in that end. And we branched out a little bit because we got there from local CPAs, that is, cousins of mine. But um, I went to Batesburg Leesville High School, graduated in 77, and uh, after graduating, um, I loafed around a little bit. I didn't go to college right off. I, was 30 before I went to college, but I, I, I kind of did a little better. I was on the dean's list then. But um, I went into law enforcement in 1979 in Batesburg. I started off as a city police officer, and I worked through there. And, uh, I went to work for Governor Campbell in 1992. Worked for him for four years until he left office, and from there I went to uh, state transport police. And I retired in 2006 uh, from the State Transport Police. And uh, at the moment, my brother and I run a tile business. We install ceramic tile, remodel bathrooms. And, uh, got a little website for that. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> got a car. <laughs> yeah, got a car too. <laughs> but uh, I'm running for car. And uh, I know that's not real exciting. I know when you're running for Senate or school board, and, different things, you know, people can really get behind that. And you say, Carter, they say, I don't know if I'm going to talk to you on the <laughs> <laughs> you know, Nobody wants to see the Carter, and I understand that. I don't want to see the Carter come to the house. And, uh, that's not, uh, you know, one of the big things that you look at and you see that somebody walking up the door, that's not a, not a good sign. And uh, I've had to deliver a few of those messages over my law enforcement career. And it's not a good thing. You do the best you can with the information you got. And uh, I think it's time for a change in Lexington County and Carter. Uh, President Carter has been there since 1977, the year I graduated high school. Uh, like I said, since then I've, I've run a full law enforcement career. And uh, right here in Lexington County for the majority of it. I did work for uh, a couple years in Calhoun County as a deputy sheriff. I worked real close with the Carter. Calhoun County. And I, I told Steve this story before. The coroner in Calhoun County at the time, his name was Hoyt Schuler. Mr. Hoyt was a real nice fellow. He was a golf pro at the Calhoun Country Club. And he had one arm. And he played golf better with one arm than most people play with two. Uh, but, uh, we never did go on a ride with Mr. Hoyt when he was going on a call. Because you called him on the radio, he's trying to drive. He's trying to answer the radio and the car's all over the road. So you want to pay attention when you're with Mr. Hoyt. Didn't let him drive, you could help him. Uh, he was a nice fellow. We worked close with him for several years while I was in Calvin County. Uh, I'm certified by the state as an investigator, as a police administrator. Uh, like I said, I did my time in public safety 27 years. And like I said, the majority were right here in Lexington County. I'm a homegrown fella. Um, going to stay here the rest of my life. I'm not going anywhere. You know, whatever it takes, I'm going to still be in Lexington County. I'm a property owner and I pay my taxes like everybody else does. 
better they will come and get it. So, but if um, when you go out there and you see the sign that says Clay Burkett, uh, you can look at that sign now and you say, well, I saw that fellow. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, not in, in a bad way. <laughs> I wouldn't write you a ticket or anything like that. And that's not necessarily a bad thing all the time. I like to think that tickets help save lives. And that's what I think our highway patrol and our public safety folks are good at. They're good at saving lives. I hear our fire department, they're good at saving lives. Um, but I think it's time for a change in Lexington County. And I think I'm the man for the job, and I appreciate any support. Any question? What's yes, the sir. difference in a highway patrolman and a transport? The you state do. transport police is responsible for uh, enforcing the commercial vehicle laws. Big trucks, tractor trailers. Oh, okay. They're, as far as authority, they have the same authority as the highway patrol. They're part of the Department of Public Safety. Uh, oh, I'm sure. Oh, yes. I got a brother retired from the highway patrol, too, right here in Lexington County. Clay, did you now you work with B, my buddy B.I. Metcalf, right? Yes, I did. Okay, I just feel yeah. sorry for you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. He's one of my attorney brothers. Okay. And I just want to congratulate you on having two arms. I think you would make a nice. Well, thank you very much. I'm not much at golf, though. So. Okay. Even better. Clay, yes, sir. Um, Satan lives. Is that? Is that? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Um, Transport officers saving lives. I think as uh, saving lives comes down to your, your highway patrol, city police, sheriff's departments, EMS, fire departments. Um, they do a great job out here working these highways day in and day out, um, helping to save lives. I think by the time the car gets a call, it's a little bit late to save a life. <laughs> now, right. there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with, you know, talking to folks and, you know, and enlightening them on certain things. But I think it's the coroner's job itself, as defined by law, is uh, not in the same context as saving lives. You mentioned that, that now it's time for a change in the coroner's office. Why is that? Well. Um, the biggest change that I think you need is uh, he's 77 years old. Known him all my life just about. Doesn't get around real well. Doesn't drive real well. I do. <laughs> I get around. I, I get away. Get around well. I'm a matter of fact. I'm a certified driving instructor. I I, I taught uh, pursuit driving and precision driving at the police academy for basic classes. I get around pretty good. I might be a little big, but I still move pretty good. Yes, sir. I, I'm just curious, are there any certain medical knowledge requirements needed for a coroner? I would imagine the there would be, but I'm not sure what the coroner's office is an investigative agency. They investigate the matter of the cause of death. That's it. There is a code, and you have to swear by affidavit they are. There's strict guidelines. There's strict guidelines, no doubt. But as far as medical, I've done just as many autopsies as any other coroner in South Carolina. Well, that's what I was thinking to ask. You know, autopsies and all. Zero. Coroner's office does They don't They're not part of that process. No, sir. That's the medical folks. That's the medical folks that do that. Any more questions? I saw your sign yesterday, and I'm so. I mean, first one, I thought I didn't know. Any, I didn't know you were running, so I am just doubly blessed today to, well, to actually eyeball you. So you're right about that. It's nice to see the sign with the person. Well, I hope that works. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good play. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.